Hey everyone, Tinty here again. Just wanted to share another quick Lightroom tip in regards to keywords. Um, keywords are awesome because they can be used in any program or application. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just click on the library panel here and I've got my keyword uh, on my photo setup and my keyword panel open ready to use. Um, so obviously that's just in the you know side panel here. And as I said, keywords are really useful because you can attach any sort of keywords to them. I've got some suggested keywords already here. Um, and I'm just going to give this photo the keyword of drummer. And I guess it's got to do with a gig, so I'm just going to choose the suggested keyword of gig as well. And now my photo is ready for export. So I'm going to choose one of my predefined exports here, which I've already defined. Um, incidentally, if you want to know a little bit more about the exports, I'll do something about that in the next video. I'll probably put a little annotation or something. Um, as I said, this video is purely to do with keywords and using keywords in ap other applications. So now that that's exported, um, I want to show you a nice piece of web software called Photo Merchant. And I'm just going to upload my photo to my jalapeno punch at the Grand View gallery and as you can see here it opens up a nice uploader and I'll click allow to that Java message and I can add the add files or I can add um, folders as well I've just got one file that I'm going to add to this so I'll never get to that and there it is so I'll hit upload and in a moment the system will tell me that that's done there it goes, upload complete, we hit OK, the whole lot closes and if I click on the photos tab up at the top here the page should reload and should tell me that it's processing and there we go we've got one image that's processing so for what photo merchant is doing essentially is it is reading all that EXIF information and all that good stuff and allowing me to make decisions based on it uh, such as in the admin interface which I'm in at the moment and as well as the customer facing interface which I'll show you a little bit more towards the end of this video but we, in the meantime I've got this gallery that's set up um, this is provided by another photo merchant member so I'm just going to click the tag blue and what this will do is it will give me all the photos that are tagged blue and as you can see there uh, we have three of them available or I can clear the tag um, the gallery that I've got to play with isn't as sophisticated as this um, admittedly I haven't played too much with the photo motion interface um, because it's not actually mine we're sharing I suppose a, a gallery um, so I'll show you what you can do with the search button in a sec um, but here we go I'm just going to go into the gallery the tag should be available to me see the drummer and once I click that that will show me my photo which I can then manipulate within the admin panel so here's the cut what the customer sees um, we've got our photo set, uh, for gallery set up so I'm going to click my jalapeno the punch at the grand view gallery now I didn't have to click on the gallery but just to show you uh, it's a bit cumbersome to try and find the photo that I've just uploaded I'm you know I'm sure it's probably done in uh, in file name order but as you can see it's a bit cumbersome to find I can't find my thing so I'll just quickly search for it and I can search for the word drummer and lo and behold there's my image ready to go um, so that's some cool tips on keywords and how the different applications that you can use them for. So if you want to know more, please feel free to comment in my YouTube channel or rate it if you think that this was useful to you. And I'm sure we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.